all right welcome back so in this post I want to talk about how real trading has to do with simple observation of market structures and understanding the principles behind them and then seizing an opportunity however it may present itself what we're going to do in particular in this CAD market is look at the market structure and structuring a market is just taking all this noise so you can learn to see it so for instance you can structure it in relative swings and it becomes a little bit clearer to you you can structure it with gaps we can structure it with mountains and valleys so today we're going to talk a little bit about mountains and valleys see that's a mountain mountains and valleys are pretty simple just kind of goes up comes down that's a mountain see it looks like a mountain a valley is going to be the opposite okay goes down now this is just a structure all right now this structure will have components and a process and that's what we're going to focus on today the components and a process of a valley in particular if we understand the process it goes through we can make trade decisions along that process that's the thing about any structure you want to use anything you've read, read in the technical analysis book you don't know it until it's done it has to go through a process if you're looking at uh, head and shoulders it has to go through a process before you know it's a head and shoulders before then it's something else so everything goes in a process if you're building a chair a chair starts out with one leg two leg three legs four legs a seat and back and until you finish it's not a chair at one point when it's just one leg it could be a baseball bat that's its point in the process and the same thing with a mountain it goes through a process before it becomes a mountain it can be something else so let's just begin to see this simply and what I'm going to do is we're gonna learn some market structure here and we're gonna learn a little bit of process and then we're going to say take the model and apply it to the chart and see if we can See if you can spot the same easy opportunity I spotted. All right. So we're going to do the process of a valley. and that's a particular structure we're structuring the flow it's going to have some basic principles it has to abide by you know once we understand some principles like contraction expansion and process continued behavior change in behavior those principles can apply to valleys to swings to anything else we can use them interchangeably so let's look at this process so in this process we're going to have contraction this is step one um, we're going to call this coil right that's how it manifests that's how you're going to see it it's a coil or a range step one okay like that so we're going to do a valley but it has to go in steps so step two is going to be expansion and that's going to manifest as a gap in some form okay so over here let's define so we want to get this as objective as possible let's define gap 
I'm going to make it a wide range bar gap. There's many types of gaps, but let's just whoa, where did everybody, where'd everybody go? Get back over here. Wide range bar gap definition. So that's going to be a wide range bar which happens the definition of that is bigger than the last three bars from high to low. That has a space between the previous bar and the subsequent bar. Okay, so let's look. That's this. This is a gap. Okay, see, so wide range bar is bigger than the last three. And notice that there's a space between the previous bar and the subsequent bar. So that's going to be our definition of a gap. Now what a gap is, it's part of the process of a valley. Right now it's a gap. So it's one of the components of a valley. And so that's step two, okay? And then at some point, you know, you'll see price, you know, stall again. And from here, in this part of the process, price has a choice. So from here, it doesn't have to be a valley if it doesn't want to. Okay. Right here, we can expand again. Or we can expand up, right? We can expand, continue, see, expand, contract, or we can expand up. And so this would be and I'm just doing basic steps here. This would be a basic step three. Expansion, which is a gap that reverses. Okay, and boom, we have a valley. See, it's shaped like a valley, a mountain. You just reverse the whole thing. All right, so now we understand something about the process. Remember, if it keeps going, it's not going to be a valley. So the minute it gaps, it's projecting a possible valley. All right, so from here, take my definition, look on the chart, and see if you can see a wide range bar gap that looks something like this right just look for the biggest baddest ugliest bar see that it's bigger than the last three bars and you see this is all space right this is all space and so we'll mark it the same the same way and we'll go through the steps the same way contraction expansion and then we're stalling down here I guess we could make that a step let's go ahead and make that a step step three contraction And then step four. I'm trying to break this down as simply as possible. All right. There's some sub steps in there. All right. So we have, boom. This is projecting a valley. And we can also say down here that a gap 
objects a possible mountain or valley. That's its job to fill the gap. We don't know if it will or not. Don't worry about the statistics. Who cares? We're just going to let price do its thing. So now, if you're watching price, and by the way, these come in relative form. You can see uh, another gap here. See? And a smaller valley that goes through its thing and makes a smaller valley. So if we're sitting with a chart and we're mapped like this very simply and we're at step three, we don't know if this is going to expand down or back up. We have no idea. But look at price. This is very simple. Just look at price. Look at the sellers. Sellers, 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 sellers. Sell These are the facts, Jack. Sellers, sellers. So we have no idea. Who cares about the statistics of a gap? We have no idea. Let price tell you. I have no idea. The real trading is about spotting an opportunity and then creating a trade plan, seizing that opportunity. Right here, I have no idea. I can sell for an expansion, or I can just watch and see what it does. And sometimes just watching it like this, you begin to get bored. And then you get here and you say, oh, sellers. Oh, these guys just got beat. Now take a quick look. If you're understanding something about the process, you know we're now looking for a possible step four. Possible, not for sure. You don't know until you know. But think about your own general trade plan you can create just from this simple possible valley structure and this simple line of sellers okay now we're all cleaned up think about what we know and what we understand about process and everything else we know this is in the process of possibly filling that and so from here it's not hard to create and make observations that oh they're not going down they look like they're going up they just busted the line of sellers so it's easy to see a possible swing and a run to make a valley you come in here you know you put your stops you look you see oh maybe I got three to one or so you can make 80 or so ticks from that or when it gets there if price shows you you can sell the valley we don't know yet but this is as simple as trading can be here just because we have the ability to map out some structure and see some process right to see see this is real time trading not I've memorized the pattern trading this is real not the lines telling me what to do not I have squiggly lines with little green and red arrows telling me what to do trade this is real hey I had no idea this would happen I see opportunity I can get long I take my risk I don't know for sure but I can take my risk on a very educated intelligent trade plan and my obvious target would be that to finish the process of a valley now of course you can play for going through the valley you can manage stops there's a lot of things you can do there's no dogma here see trading you take the principles with process is one of them and you can apply them to anything whether it's lines or swings or anything else. It has nothing to do with something telling you what to do. That's slavery. Doesn't work either. Not in a moving environment. No matter how many statistics you have. 
no matter how many fancy lines you got. You don't need to be fancy to make money from that. That's pragmatic. So I just wanted to do a little post on how we learn something about structures. and the process they go through and how we you don't always get a quickie zoom retest up here but this time we did and it gave us room to come up here and make a valley and we also learned about making a gap and everything else and so that's trading you spot an opportunity you take it by understanding a few ways to structure a market and understanding the principles that lie, uh, underlie any method it's then a matter of simply looking and waiting for opportunity I know that's a scarier way to go about it than to have something tell you what to do but it's the only way if you want to go chasing systems keep doing it until you're worn out nothing works you work or you don't work and so trading is a matter of seeing and then risking and then doing a trade all right thank you we'll put this up and we'll look at other methods and things as they come along